Today for dinner, I'm cooking a rhubarb and red lentil curry. So these are the ingredients. The recipe is from Abel and Cole. So you can look that up online. I'll try and put a link in the description below for you. Um, so ingredients. So first thing I've got um, some fresh rhubarb straight out of the garden. I've just picked this. That's the first bit of rhubarb we've picked this year. So that's really cool. Love using stuff out of the garden. Um, I've got some rapeseed oil. I've got some yogurt, uh, I've got red lentils, um, coriander, baby spinach, garam masala, um, brown rice, one onion, one lemon, some garlic and some ground turmeric. So that's all we need for this curry. First thing I'm going to do is put this brown rice on to cook. So it's 200 grams of brown rice. I'm just going to cover it in boiling water and put it on for 25 minutes to cook. As usual, the first thing to go in to the big pan is some onion. So I'm going to chop that up, put the onion and garlic in to fry for a few minutes. Next to go in is the garasala, so I've got tea, two tea, teaspoons of that, and then a minute later a teaspoon of turmeric, and just let them fry on the onion, and coat the onion for a couple of minutes. Next up is 150 grams of red lentils quickly followed by 150 millilitres of boiling water. Along with another 150 millilitres of water, I'm going to put the rhubarb in. And let that water absorb. While I'm waiting for the lentils and rhubarb to cook through, I've measured out 150 grams of yoghurt and I'm going to grate the zest of a lemon into the yoghurt. I've juiced half the lemon and that's going in with the lentils. I'm also gonna put 50 grams of baby spinach in with the lentils to wilt. It's about half this bag. The last thing to go into the pan is some coriander that I'm going to chop up. I'm going to put some in the pan and save some for going on top. 